It could give us cheap energy, but would it also blight the South's countryside? There's been a lot of talk today about the government's approval for extracting shale gas, and it may lead to exploration across the south of England. The gas is found in both the Weald and Wessex basins, a rock formation stretching from the Midlands to the south coast, and where licences have previously been issued for oil exploration. The Lancashire-based Quadrilla Company also has a licence to drill in the village of Balcombe in Sussex, as our political editor Peter Henley reports. The railway viaduct at Balcombe stands as a testament to Victorian engineering, but it's here that the shale gas exploration company Quadrilla has a licence to look for potential deposits. Fracking works thousands of feet under the ground, a drill turning sideways under the rock. Their explosions fracture the formations of shale, water, sand and chemicals are forced in, breaking open the rock and releasing the gas. And it was Quadrilla whose drilling caused earthquakes in Blackpool that led to a ban on exploration last year. Whilst the company says its efforts are concentrated in the northwest, they told a House of Commons committee this week they were optimistic about the wider prospects. I mean, I, I would perhaps characterise the UK as a, as a, a fast second mover. Um, I think we can take what we've got from the US, we can customise it and we can improve on it as, as needed. In Sussex, though, there's huge anxiety about Quadrilla's licence, which only runs up until September next year. My reaction to the government's announcement today is not surprise, but it's utter disillusionment. We might keep the lights on for another 15 years or so, but we'll have wasted all that time that we should have been investing in energy efficiency and proper, safe, renewable energy technologies. We'll be 15, 20 years down the line. We'll have poured a lot more CO2 into the atmosphere. We will have despoiled the landscape, industrialised large areas of it. We will have contaminated some watercourses. We may have triggered earthquakes. That's not the main fear. It's more the contamination, the air pollution. It makes no sense. There have been anti-fracking protests at Westminster and now at Brussels, South East Green MEP Keith Taylor is campaigning to keep the ban on drilling. When you think about the southeast, it's a water-stressed region. Do we really want to be pouring millions of gallons underground, laced with chemicals, at a time when we, we don't have enough water in the southeast to meet our continuing need? But with energy prices rising, potential rewards are high. Peter Henley, BBC South Today, West Sussex.